wave interference. In this video, we will discuss wave interference, both constructive and destructive. Waves interfere with each other when they come into contact. A great way of being able to picture this is thinking about what occurs when you drop two pebbles in a pond. The ripples will come in contact with each other, making new patterns that are very different from just simple circles. The same thing happens with light waves. Now let's look at this interaction, or more correctly phrased, interference, a bit more closely. Think back to your early math days, when you had to add two waves together. You may remember having to go point by point and add them to show what the new wave looked like. So let's look at the top figure. If we start here, and we call this zero, and we add this point and this point together, we'll still be at zero. Then, if we move to the peak, let's say right here, and we arbitrarily define this as having a height of one, and we add this point to this point, we now have a point that's double as high. When it goes down, and we look at our troughs, it will be double as low, and so on through all of the points. This gives us a wave that is larger than either wave that it came from. This is called constructive interference. In destructive interference, the waves are overlapping in a way that cancel each other out. If we look at the second part of this figure, we can see that if we start at the beginning, we still have zero and zero, canceling out to be zero. But now if we move up to this peak and we add it to this trough and we arbitrarily define this as plus one and this as minus one, since they're the same amplitude, just in opposite signs, it cancels to zero and so on throughout the entire wave. This is called destructive interference. In this case, it is complete destructive interference, or in other words, the two waves have completely canceled each other out. But in cases of wave interference, you can also have partially constructive or partially destructive interference as well. We have now defined wave interference and looked at both constructive and destructive interference. This video will be used in later videos, and you need to have a solid background understanding of this before moving on to learning about light waves.